Are you struggling with unquoting arguments in your dplyr functions? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into a common issue that many R users face when trying to summarize data with multiple grouping variables. I totally get it. It can be incredibly frustrating when your code seems to work for one grouping variable, but fails when you try to add more. This is a common hurdle for many programmers, especially when dealing with non-standard evaluation in dplyr. Let's take a look at a specific question from a user. They asked, how do I unquote arguments with multiple values in dplyr? They provided a function that works for a single grouping variable, but runs into issues when trying to group by multiple variables. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's going wrong? The user is trying to use the quos function to capture multiple grouping variables, but when they attempt to unquote splice them, they encounter errors. This can happen if the grouping variables are not being re recognized correctly. Stay with me. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to properly unquote multiple grouping variables in your dplyr functions, and I promise it will make your data manipulation tasks much easier. To address the user's issue with grouping by multiple variables, we need to modify the function to correctly handle the grouping arguments. First, the user should ensure that the grouping variables are captured using the quos function. Next, the user should ensure that the select function uses the unquote splice operator correctly. This will allow the function to select multiple grouping variables dynamically. Now the user should modify the group by function to also use the unquote splice operator. This ensures that all specified grouping variables are included in the summarization. Finally, the user should test the updated function with multiple grouping variables to ensure it works as expected. They can do this by calling the function with the desired parameters. Fun fact, did you know that the DPLR package is named after the French word for to manipulate? It's fitting considering how powerful it is for data manipulation in R. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that to group by multiple columns in dplyr, you should not use ccol1, col2 directly in group by. Instead, they recommend creating a wrapper function that utilizes select vars or the group by at function. This allows you to select columns for grouping while maintaining the correct semantics. The user also highlights that using rlangcar as a default argument is beneficial because C it returns null, which can cause issues in selecting functions. This approach ensures that you can effectively group by multiple columns without encountering errors. Here's a pro tip. Always test your functions with a small subset of your data first. This way, you can quickly identify any issues without running through your entire data set. And there you have it. You should now feel more confident in unquoting multiple grouping variables in DPLIR. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on our programming.